Question 4, part P. Use the method of undetermined coefficients to solve the differential equation um, d2x dt squared plus 4 dx dt plus 3x equals to uh, exponent minus 2t given that when t equals to 0, x is, is 0 and dx dt equals to 2. 11 marks. Solution to the equation is uh, d2x dt squared plus 4 dx dt plus 3x equals to x prime minus 2t. They are saying that we solve this equation given that t equals to 0 when x equals to 0 and then dx dt equals to, to 2. Solution. First of all, this equation is made up of two parts, the complementary part and the particular part. So the general, the general solution of this equation will be given by y equals to a uh, complementary function plus um, plus particular integral plus particular integral so we need to find the complementary function and then I also get the particular integral now for us to get the complementary function we shall let this equation equals to zero so that we come up with the auxiliary equation so we can extract the auxiliary equation from this equation. This, the auxiliary equation here will be, will be m squared plus 4m plus 3 equals to, to 0. So we now factorize this equation. There are two numbers. When you add, you get 4. When you multiply, you get 3. So the two numbers are 3 and, and 1. Therefore, here you have m squared plus 3m plus m plus 3 equals to 0. You can now factorize this. Here, the common factor here is m, so you take m out. You remain with m plus 3 plus the common factor is, is 1. You take it out, you have m plus 3 equals to 0. So here you have m plus 1, m plus 3, equals to equals to zero there are from here we have we have m1 equals to it will be negative one and then this one will be m2 equals to negative negative three therefore uh, our complementary function y is will be given by um, a exponent is always given by a exponent m1x plus b exponent m2x so this will be equal to a exponent our m1 is negative 1 so this will be negative x then plus b exponent our m2 is negative 3 so it will be negative 3x so now this is our complementary function now we need on to move we need to move on to get the particular integral so this will give us the direction on how we assume the our pi. So our pi, our particular integral will be equal to now this is exponent negative 2 so 2t, so it will be c exponent minus 2t. <coughs> so this will be our 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 particular integral. Um, so can, so we can say that our pi which is x equals to c exponent minus 2t. So at this point we differentiate this equation with respect, we differentiate x with respect to t. So we get dx dt here will be equal to, when you differentiate this equation, 
to get minus 2c exponent minus 2t. Then we differentiate it again, d2x dt squared to be equal to, so negative 2 times 2 shall have 4c exponent minus 2t. Uh -huh. So uh, after performing this, after after differentiating this, we now come and, and substitute in this equation where there is d, d2x dt squared, we put it there, 4c exponent minus 2t. So, so this will be 4, 4c exponent minus 2t, then this will be plus 4, dx dt is this one, so 4 into minus 2c exponent minus 2t, then plus 3, our x is what? Our x is c, so it will be c, 3c, exponent minus 2t, this one now equals to exponent minus 2t, exponent minus 2t. We open the bracket, we have 4c exponent minus 2t, now here it be minus 8, minus 8c exponent minus 2t, plus 3c exponent minus 2t equals to exponent minus 2t. So at this point we divide through by exponent, exponent minus 2t. So when we do that we remain with 4c minus 8c plus 3c equals to 1. Now 4c plus 3c we have 7c minus 8c um, equals to 1. So we have minus c equals to 1. Therefore c equals negative, negative 1 c equals to negative 1. Therefore, our pi, our pi, uh, we say that is given by this, but we have gotten that c is, uh, c is negative 1. Therefore, our pi will be equal to now minus exponent minus 2t. Therefore, the general solution, general solution will be equal to say to y to be equal to, we have a exponent minus x plus b exponent minus 3x, then plus, so is minus exponent minus 2t. So now this is, this is, remember this is x. So this is now the general solution. But remember the question wanted us to get the particular solution because we had given extra information. Now at this point, we now need to get the value of a and the value of b. So how do we get the values of this? So here they are saying that when t equals to 0, x equals to 0. Aha, so x, this is x, so we can say now that 0, we are now substituting x equals to 0, equals to a exponent, this is t, don't need to mix them. That is t. This is t. Remember, t was the variable. Uh, yeah, this is t. So when x is 0, t is 0. So this will be equal to, when t is 0, x, so this will be exponent 0, plus b exponent, t is 0, so this will be exponent 0, minus t is 0, so this will be exponent 0. So this equals to, exponent 0 is 1. So here we remain with the a plus b minus minus 1. Therefore, we are saying that uh, a plus b equals to 1. Call it equation, equation 1. Now, we need two equations for us to be able to get the value of a and b. So, we have equation 1. Now, equation 2, we shall get it from here. They are saying that dx dt equals to 2. Therefore, we shall differentiate this equation and equate it to, to 2. So we shall say that uh, 2 equals to, um, so when you differentiate exponent minus t, we shall be able to get minus a exponent minus t. When you differentiate this, you get minus 3b exponent minus 3t. When you differentiate here, you have plus, plus exponent plus 2 exponent minus 2t. 
uh, they are saying that uh, t is 0. So here we have 2 equals to a minus a x prime 0 then minus 3 b exponent 0 we are taking 3 times 0 to exponent 0 then plus a to be 2 exponent 0 so this equals to minus a minus 3 b plus 2 plus 2 so when 2 crosses to this side it becomes negative so it be 0 so we have so we have uh, minus a minus 3b equals to to 0 so from here you can say that uh, minus a equals to 3b you multiply through by negative 1 therefore a equals to minus 3b so we have two equations here as you can see the first equation is this one let me rewrite it here a plus b equals to 1 and then we have a equals to minus 3b so we can come here and substitute that is a we put it here minus 3b so we have minus 3b plus b equals to, to 1 this is minus 2b equals to 1 therefore b equals to negative a half so if b equals to negative a half what would be the value of a a equals to minus 3 into minus a half so it will be equal to 3 all over 2 now once we have the value of a and b remember the general solution was the particular solution was what y equals to the general solution it was x equals to this one a a exponent minus t and then plus plus b plus b exponent minus 3 t then minus minus exponent minus 2 t now the particular in that now will be equal to our a is now 3 all over 2 we have 3 all over 2 exponent minus t then our b is our our b is a, a, a negative half so it will be minus minus a half exponent minus 3t minus exponent minus 2t and that is the particular solution remember we have now removed a and b so um, what we are saying is that to solve this kind of equation the first thing um, remember the general solution is given by complementary function plus particular integral so to get the complementary function, you let this equation equals to zero, and then you get what we are calling the auxiliary equation. Get the roots of auxiliary equation. For example, here we have gotten the roots are negative one and negative three. So if you get two real and distinct roots, then the solution is always given by, by this. A exponent mx1 plus b exponent m2x. Now that you have the value of m1 and m2, you substitute them and then you get this one as the complementary function. Once you get the complementary function, you now proceed to get the particular integral the way we have done it here. So the, our assumed pi or assumed particular integral will be given by c exponent minus 2t. So once you do this, then you differentiate this uh, equation you differentiate this equation to get dx dt and then get d2x dt squared so once you get this you come back and substitute in this equation so that we can now be able to get the value of c so after substitution you are able to get the value of c as as one then you go back and now so now that our 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 our, our particular integral will be given by minus minus exponent minus 2t so the general solution will be given by that so once we get the general solution we now use the extra information that we've been given to be able to get the values of the constant what we have done here so if i able to get the values of the constant b equals negative a half and a equals to 3 all over 2 once we get them we now substitute in the equation to get the particular 
solution. Thank you for listening and watching.